Hey guys, welcome back to Yokin's Poke. Harry here. So guys, been a while. I've had a lot going on in my life. But I'm here now and I'm very excited about the new development. I've got a new bike built. It's been a long time, well, in my world, six months. And I wasn't really sure what to build. So I've just been waiting. I did pick up a SRAM Force Hydro one by group set a while ago. It was too cheap. I had, to, I had to do it. So I snapped that up. And then I've just been waiting, frame wise, do I do gravel, do I do a road, what, what am I going to do? And life decided for me. A frame appeared on Facebook, second hand, but may as well have been new. It's a giant Defy Advanced Pro 2022 model. So it was like the guy had done about 500 Ks on it, didn't like it, and there it was. And the price was unbelievable. Okay, $1,000 posted to me. Now, just to put it in perspective, this bike sells with a DI2 group set, Shimano Altegra, with carbon wheels for $7,300. Yep, you heard me, $7,300. So I got this amazing frame for $1,000. I mean, how can you not take it up? And the, one of the great things about this frame is that it can actually double as a gravel bike because you can fit 35 mil tires on it. According to Giant, I will be testing that out. You can guarantee you that. I've got a set of wheels already. They've got 32 mils. They're the ones I've been using on the Kona for the road. So I shall put them on initially until I can find the tires that I'm looking for. Okay, let's check it out. It's a fantastic color. I really like it. It's kind of like a silvery gray with a speck through it. They all seem to have the sparkle through them these days. The light's not the best here today. And I'll be putting 35s on at some point, but at the moment I don't have 35s. I've got 32s. So I had my gravel wheel set that I was using as the road so that's going to come on this came with the bottom bracket Shimano giant as you can see not a mark on it Yeah, so there you go. Had to do it. So nice. I'm very excited about it because I still will be able to use it on gravel. Most of the gravel you only need. Fairly narrow tyres. So if it can get a good 35mm in there, that will be an all-purpose bike. Super comfortable and it's going to be so light. The Kona, I love it, but it's heavy. And when you're just doing road rides, it's just hard work. So I'm really excited about having this bike in the stable. Now I have a dilemma guys, and I need your input here. I actually have two group sets. As I said, I picked up that SRAM Force, one by. It's got a 40 on the front, 11, a 10.44 on the back. SRAM Force Hydro, super lightweight. Can't believe how light it is. However, I just picked up really cheap a full Shimano 105R7000 hydro group set. Didn't have the cranks with it, but I picked up a set of gravel cranks. 4630 on the front. So two boy by versus one by. I'm leaning towards the 105 actually. I love my I love my one buys, but two buys do give you a lot more range. And you do miss those high and low gears a lot when you're on the road so 
just put down something on the comments will you what do you reckon one by or two by i mean it's going to be awesome either way and can't wait to build this up so i've weighed the frame as it is with all the stuff on it at the moment 2.5 kg so i'm guessing with fork frame only about one and a half case so that's very light should come up with a better eight and a half k build so when i'm built i'll give you an inspection and then we'll take it for a spin thanks for watching subscribe like whatever you want to do it's up to you guys see you next time